Hi guys, welcome back to another one. So this video is a little delayed here. I about two weeks, a week and a half behind. Um, of course, I had to open my mouth and say I didn't think that or foresee any problems. Well, I did. I ran into some problems, not really problems, but we uh, went end up taking. We were taking a family vacation. We take about five days. Wife and the kids and I always go camping somewhere. Go hour or two hours away and just have a five day weekend just the kids and the wife and try to enjoy ourselves before the kids go back to school and we had some things we needed to do to the camper so we uh worked on that a little bit i'll uh here in a little bit i'll take you out there and i'll kind of show you what i what we did there and then we come back and that next weekend i was trying to work on the boat and i was running low on argon, I ended up running out. And the local auto parts store I take it to, to just exchange them there, they didn't have a tank. So I was hoping to get one Monday when the gas supply company came in and exchanged the tanks for them. Well, they never brought a new full tank because they didn't know they were out that day because they put their orders in on Friday. So somebody came in on Saturday or something and exchanged them. And Sunday when I went and got mine, they'd already exchanged it out, so. And I was going to wait until tomorrow, today's Sunday, I was going to wait until tomorrow to get the tank. Just be able to exchange it out there at the auto parts store, but end up making it to town Friday afternoon. My, actually my wife went up there Friday and, and uh, exchanged it out for me. Took Went into work an hour later and went up and exchanged it out. So I ended up getting some welding on the boat, but... I had a fantasy football draft last night or yesterday afternoon, so I didn't get a whole lot done yesterday. So late last night when we got back, I welding some more on the boat and come out this morning and welding some more. Pretty close to being done here, welding it out and getting it sanded down, kind of finalizing everything. Going to start working on the uh, T-rail here, kind of show you what, what we're going to do. I won't have it in this video because... Actually, I'm getting ready to leave here in about an hour. I got to head uh, over to Fort Dodge for some training for work. So, of course, this weekend's kind of half shot with all this stuff going on. But got the T-rail here. I'm clamping it on. Hopefully you can kind of see it. The lighting in here is kind of poor. But kind of clamping it on right now, and I'm going through and lining it up. with the. I got a backing strip behind here. This is a eighth inch by three-quarter aluminum flat bar that's stuck in behind here and I'm just lining those up to be flat and smooth right across the top and I got some eight by three quarter stainless screws that I'm actually going to use to screw it together and I'm going to center punch the hole the holes in there and then drill them out and then put the screws in be able to run them up and I'm going to start on the front here and I'm working my way back because my that two slot bar stuff is only four foot long and the boat's a 16 foot boat but of course I'm not going all the way to the front but I'm going to run this back and I don't know if I'm going to do three sections and bring it back along the bench there I'll kind of figure it out as we go not sure how far back I'll take it if I'll take it all the way to the back of the boat or not quite sure yet, so kind of play that by ear as I do it, but of course I run into another dilemma that I have, uh, I don't have drill bits. All my small drill bits are broke and time to replace a few of them. So I won't be able to work on this anymore either, so I'll have to get some and uh, hopefully next weekend, but next weekend being Labor Day weekend. We'll see how that goes, but not that this is a huge importance to me right now. I mean, I'd like to get it done and like to keep working on it, and, but we're getting close to uh, harvest here where work will start picking up. I'll work in more hours and putting in fertilizer for the fields and stuff, so we have that coming up, so we're going to run out of time there, but I'll keep plugging away on this little here and there a couple nights a week or whatever, a little bit, trying to keep this going get this done I'm gonna uh, put 
put the T-rail on this side and that side. And then I'll pull the, uh, be pulling the motor off the boat and actually parking the boat outside for a while. I'll bring it back in if I can get some work done to it. And then we'll work on uh, probably sanding it down, painting it. I'm going to redo the floor, I think, a little bit, maybe. Do you hear it? I don't know if you can hear it very well. I'm going to pull that up and actually line that with plastic underneath there because that floor squeaks. It's got a squeak to it. So I'm going to line it with plastic underneath there, maybe repaint it some a little bit, but I'm not entirely sure yet, but I'm going to work on some different things to get that uh, kind of quieted up. So I'll do that, and then I'll be flipping it over, maybe painting it, getting some, I got some uh, stuff coming yet for the uh, bottom of the boat here. Coat the bottom like an epoxy for a kind of a slick coating. And still have some uh, seat upgrades and I got a console to make. So just future videos that will be coming out here. Lighting package and different stuff like that. So I'll keep working on it here and there. But like I said, I'm getting ready to leave. I kind of start putting stuff away. I got a, about a two and a half hour drive to... Get over there, over east here, for some training tomorrow morning. Got to stay in a hotel over there tonight and get up early in the morning, go some training. Come back tomorrow afternoon, so.